Now, after we do some uh, measurement, when we study uh, some phenomena, after we have the results, the next step, the next step is to try to understand the relation between the, the quantity. Sometimes, or we may say that most of the time, we cannot directly observe or directly uh, see the relation. We just have the, the, the uh, measure, uh, the measurement results. So, we have to create the, or ima imagine how this quantity related. And we usually, the physicists usually use the model or mathematical model to do that task. Okay. Uh, we create the, the model and the process is called the model building. The model building. And we test the model by compare the, uh, the calculation results from the model with the experiment. If it agree well, we say that the model is likely to be correct. If it's not, we try to find what's wrong in the model or maybe what's wrong in the experimental results and do the comparison again. In this figure, it's a, it, it is an example of the model of the matter. What is the, what is consists? Uh, what, uh, what is the basic, the most basic component of the matter? Uh, the matter consists of what? Okay. Uh, for example, they have the, the, the bar of the gold. And today we know that the matter is consists of the, the atom. Okay. So, if we magnify the bar, we may see. Magnify this bar, we can see the atom inside. But you see that we cannot see this atom by by uh, by eyes or even using the microscope, the very the, the base microscope. Now you cannot see clearly like in this picture how what is uh, uh, you cannot see clearly like uh, the you cannot see the atom clearly as in this picture even you use the base microscope now but we have the model that the goal is consists of the atom and from that model we do the calculation and we compare it with the property of the goal and we found that this agree very well today we accept this model that matter is consists of atom next we question it what is atom consists of and we know that the atom consists of the electron and the nucleus okay again we may question that what is con what is the nucleus consists of and we know that the nucleus consists of the proton and the neutron okay and we can question again what is the proton and neutron and maybe also the electron consists of and we know today that it consists of the quark, the very elementary particle. Okay, so this is the model of the matter. We cannot see it directly by eye, but we can imagine and we can create the model uh, mathematically and compare the result with the experiment. And that is what the physicists do in their work. Next, let us come back to the, to uh, 
นะเถอะ property of the physical quantity okay. it is about the dimension of the physical quantity uh, we define the dimension the dimension of a physical quantity is the physical nature the physical nature of a quantity the physical nature of a quantity what is the physical nature it depends on what you are talking about if you are talking about the the distance between your home and the university uh, the physical nature is the link like if you talk about the amount of the uh, metal that you need to make a car it is about the mass if you talk about the duration that you need that you take when uh, when you travel from your home to the university it's about the time so this is the dimension of the physical quantity and we use the symbol the square bracket to denote the dimension and for the basic quantity we have the symbol for three basic quantity that is for the length we use the symbol L for the dimension of length for the dimension of mass we use the symbol of M and for the dimension of time we use the symbol T so this is a basic dimension basic dimension okay uh, the word dimension is is general in the sense that if you talk about the length the dimension is L but when you want to do the measurement you have to give the unit to that dimension we can see that for dimension a dimension can have more than one unit For example, if you talk about the length, you can give it the meter, kilometer, centimeter, millimeter, or you can give it at the inch, you can give it at the yard, you can give it at the mile. Okay, you can see that you talk about the same dimension that is the length, but it can have more than one unit. Okay, for the time, you can have the second hour, day weeks year something like that so uh, be careful to uh, separate the, the dimension and the unit is very close but it's different dimension is the general uh, but unit is specific and it uh, depends on what the standard you use from the basic uh, dimension you can 
uh, create or you can write down the di dimension of uh, the other quantity by doing the algebraic combination of the basic dimension. For example, we know that the dimension of the link is L is L and the dimension of time is T and when you want to measure the speed the speed is the ratio of the length and time so the dimension of the speed is L over T so we can write down it as an algebraic uh, expression or the algebraic combination uh, of the basic dimension uh, which is the uh, uh, L over T and when you want to give the unit of the speed you can see that the unit is uh, the if in, in the SI unit it is a mass uh, over uh, sorry not mass it is a meter over second right because the the unit of the SI unit of the length is a meter and the SI unit of the time is second. So from the dimension you can have the unit. Now it's it, it is in the it's in the uh, SI unit. Okay, it's a math per second. But if you use the uh, English unit or the local uh, US unit, you can write it as a foot per second because now we use the unit of the length at the foot and unit of the uh, time a second okay we can do this like for example for the acceleration the acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity so we have that or the rate of change of the speed we have that the, the dimension of the speed is L over T but now it is the rate of change of the uh, speed so the acceleration the dimension of the acceleration is l over t and over t again and we can do it like uh, the algebraic expression to write it as uh, l over t square and the unit in si unit is a mass over uh, second square in the uh, US unit local unit is a foot over second square this is also for the, the volume and the area you can see this uh, example in this table